Welcome. This is Rolf, also known as Block Ops, and it's May 9th. I have big news for you. We have a change in how we're launching Zencash. So this is good. There's a bunch of good reasons for it. I'll explain uh, how this ca change came about and why we're doing it. But first thing I want to let you know is we're going to fork from Z Classic at block 110,000. So this is a change. Previously, I had been saying that we're going to fork and any Z Classic that you own all the way up to May 23rd at the launch is going to be converted into Zen Cash. Our developers need a little bit more time to do this properly and work with our exchange partners and work with our uh, mining pool partners to prepare. So we're going to do a pause. So about Tuesday next week, which is May 16th, at anybody that owns Z Classic, all the way up to and including block 110,000, is going to own Zen Cash going forward. Anything after that won't make a difference. So, what does this get us? Well, I'll go through and talk how we came to this decision and uh, the specifics of, uh, of the launch and, and what we're going to be doing in that one week pause between splitting and saving the Z Classic chain and launching Zen Cash. So give me a second. So what exactly is the process going forward? Well, on Tuesday, May 16th, which is what we calculated, block 110,000 is going to happen. Z Classic is going to continue. Nothing's changed with Z Classic. Z Classic is a great cryptocurrency. We're going to continue to support it. Uh, it's going to continue to be the community so supported version of Z Cash. So nothing changes there. However, we're going to take the entire blockchain and make a copy of it. So that copy of that blockchain is going to be the foundation for Zen Cash. That's why anybody who owns any Z Classic, up to and including block 110,000, is going to own Zen Cash when it is launched. So that during that week that our developers have between block 110,000 and May 23rd when we launch Zen Cash, we're going to um, send the entire blockchain to our exchange and mining pool partners. We're going to test the Zen Cash node software, make sure everything's good with it, that there's no, that there's replay protection to prevent replay attacks. And then Josh, our lead developer, also known uh, on the Slack and on GitHub as MOVRCX, is going to create the Genesis block, block 110,001. He's going to have that ready to go for the launch. Now, he's also the same guy that created the Genesis block for Z Classic when it forked from Zcash. He's the lead developer on the Zencash node software, the Xenomp open source mining pool software, and the primary developer on the Elios wallets. So to participate in this, you got to believe in what Josh is doing, which I do, and a lot of the community does as well. He's provided outstanding technical leadership on this. Um, so that's the process so far. And then let's talk a little bit about what happens on May 23rd. Okay, so let's talk about what happens on May 23rd. So on May 16th, well, precisely at block 110,000, there's a chain split. And we're going to record that chain and then have that ready to go. Create the Genesis block, that one additional block, so block 110,001, and that's going to go active on May 23rd. So we've got a week for our developers and our exchange partners and uh, our mining pool uh, partners to get everything ready. So sometime between 7 and 9 p.m. Uh, at our event at the Attic, we're going to launch Zen Cash. We're going to go live. We're going to go get the production Zen Cash blockchain going. That means that mining starts. It means that once your new Zen Cash capable wallet is uh, starts synchronizing and synchronizes up with the Zen Cash blockchain, your Zen Cash that you get from owning Z Classic is going to show up. So Everything is going to go in a nice, smooth process. 
So that's the plan. And um, you probably have some questions. I've anticipated some of the questions and uh, ask more of them in all the various forums that we're going to be sharing this information. So let me write down a couple of the questions and answers. So here's all the questions that I can think of that y'all might have off the top of your head. I'm sure there's going to be more, but let's get going on some of these. First one, why'd you make this change? Why'd you just tell everybody? Do you all not know what you're doing? Well, the thing is, we make the best plans that we can, and we move forward, and as we go through and accomplish the things that we're working to accomplish, new information comes around. And when new information comes about, we end up having to change things. There's, this is just the way it is. And looking on the decision, it makes a lot of sense to me. I was actually a little bit concerned about trying to accomplish everything on the night of May 23rd while we're at a bar getting ready to celebrate the launch and doing the launch. Because there's always a bit of work that has to happen in between a chain split and a launch. So by doing this pause, it gives us the time to do that and to test it properly. So could we have made this decision previously? Possibly. But we're letting you know as soon as as soon as we can. I mean, we just made the decision yesterday, and here I am telling you today. So keeping our word of getting the information out as fast as we can. Next, what's going to happen to the Z Classic price when we announce this? I don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter to me what the Z Classic price is. Uh, I'm in this for the long term. So Zen Cash, I think, is a great cryptocurrency. I think Z Classic is a great cryptocurrency as well. There's some things that we're going to be able to do in Zen Cash over the next few years to really build this and uh, lay the foundation for all the different things that we can do with the Zen uh, architectural system uh, on top of the Zen Cash cryptocurrency. So there's going to be short-term price, price fluctuations. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. I don't really know. Will Bittrex support the Z Classic to Zen Cash on the exchange? Well, I don't have an answer for you. Bittrex will have an answer for you regarding that. And I expect that they'll have an answer, whether they will or not, before block 110,000. What I can tell you is that we have been talking with Bittrex about this. Um, the replay protection in the code uh, is, is pretty much ready to go. And by doing this one week pause it gives them the ability to prepare all their servers so this is only a good thing from the standpoint of bitrex supporting it and when there is a statement from bitrex i'll be the first to share it with you believe me any other surprises well i, I don't know because they're going to be surprises are there, there going to be things that come up are there going to be problems yeah i mean this is my fifth industry that i've been i've been Officer of the Navy on a nuclear submarine and the industrial water treatment. I worked in the semiconductor industry, uh, worked for Cisco Systems, uh, owned a Cisco Systems reseller, and now I do uh, mining. And I've, I've, I've changed so many things that I've done in the last year on Bitcoin and altcoin mining. Things come up. When you start doing something, you learn new information. You learn new and better ways to do things. So are we going to change? Yeah, things are going to change. Are there going to be big, substantial changes that affect people in a bad way? Well, I certainly hope not. That's not our intention. Our intention is to build and launch a really great cryptocurrency and to get a whole bunch of people on board and support us with this. So that, that's what we're actively doing. That's why we're sharing the information. And that's why all the team members are working hard to get this done. OK, are we doing this to manipulate the market? Well, no. Um, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to the price. I've been slowly, over the last four or five months, buying Z Classic. I've been mining Z Classic. Um, so I, I bought you know, a bit when it was lower priced, and I've been working hard to, to work on this in, into Zen Cash. I have the majority of my Z Classic on Bittrex, um, and I have wallets ready to go to take it off if I need to. That's, that, that, that's the way it is. Um, there is going to be ups and downs in the market. Frankly, I really don't have time to mess around with that. I know there's traders that do that. I know there's investors that want to get in at a good point. But if I did this, if I, if we did this and then I announced it the day before we were going to do it, or we're like, hey, later on today, you got to have your stuff, that would be manipulating the market. Giving you all a week, 
to t to you know buy Z Classic if you want to, or figure out what's going to happen with the price, or wait for Zen Class Zen Cash to launch and then buy some on the exchange. You got time to do things. So I don't see this as market manipulation at all. Do I believe in Zen Cash? Absolutely. I'm excited to be part of the Zen Cash team. Um, you know, cryptocurrencies is one of the rapidly growing and, and evolving technologies. I love being part of new technologies. This is why I've gone from industry to, to industry. So I'm a, I'm a complete believer in Zen Cash. I think we've got a great team. And after we launch, we're going to have the ability to have governance and voting and proposals and, and pay developers and work with uh, different ecosystem partners to, for example, to pay for integrations, to pay for a hardware wallet to do all sorts of different things. Um, so I'm really excited about being part of the, the Zencash team, and I definitely believe in it. So thanks for listening to this update. Uh, again, this is big news. Share it with other folks that you know. Uh, share with them your, your excitement about um, being, part of, uh, being part of this movement of Z Classic and Zencash. And if you're uh, a YouTuber or a reporter or other person who likes to share information about cryptocurrency, contact us about and and you're going to be at the consensus event in new york city we're looking for folks to come and cover the launch because that way we can have uh, video streaming on multiple channels uh, we can have people writing about it we can have people film about it this is a live launch of zen cash and we want some folks there that already have an audience that are going to be able to share this with their audience so again this is rolf block ops on the on the slack and on the other social media things uh, look for the blog, look for information on Bitcoin Talk, join us on the Slack. Really appreciate um, y'all's support. So thank you.